Hello everyone, uh, today we're going to be talking about the FCMM mod, which is a utility mod designed for uh, Minecraft, um, for NVT data and generating custom heads. Today we'll be going through the custom head features and how they can be used. Okay, so if we just jump right into the game, we hit the Z key, this can be changed in config, settings, or you can go into options, uh, controls, keybinds, and find your keybind in here. By default it is set to Z, so when you hit Z you get this uh, GUI that pops up. Uh, and today we're just going to be looking at a couple of these, so we can go through the head generator and the head gallery. First and foremost, uh, the head gallery. In here you can find all these different categories. Um, so if we open humanoid here, you get a whole gallery. But yeah, you get this and to give yourself a head you just click on these and they are given to you instantly. Uh, which is all cool. So next off we are going to be talking about the head generator. Now the head generator has a lot of things. You might be thinking, oh my god, what is all of this? And um, we're gonna go through that. So um, you have a few options. Head, which generates from the skin you currently have. Path, which um, loads from a file path. And name, which generates from name. So you'll probably be using name the most, but we will also explain path and how that can be used to create some interesting things. First of off we'll go to name, we'll just type in my username here, load image, you can um, change the name by the way, so like here it's currently set to my username but I can change that and like, like notch or whatever, um, and it'll generate with that name. So next off you have this setting here, which is um, pre-edit. Overlap uh, means that it'll have your 3D skin layer but it'll flatten it or try and combine it with one of these 3D options. Um, next off we have Remove which completely removes your um, 3D layer off of your skin. And None which leaves your 3D layer on the skin where possible. So um, you can generate a lot of things so I can get this one with this helmet here. Um, these heads usually take a couple of seconds to generate. I recommend waiting for the timer to finish because sometimes uh, if you don't give it the five second countdown it will only half generate and you will have kind of missing data so it might have half of the skin generated in black where you, you, you don't want that so I recommend just uh, being a little patient with it. Oh and to generate um, just your skin's head on its own you just have to go to this one that's called base skin. That's it. But what this mod allows you to do is, well, um, you get all these options here for hats, masks, everything, um, but you can also generate weird things like this book here, or plushies. So what we could do here is we can go, oh I would like my skin as a plushie, and you generate it. It works the best I find when you have your pre-edit set to none because it um, shows you 3D layers. And I will, I will show you what these look like now. This is that on, this is my normal skin, and this is the plushie it has um, generated for me here. Yeah. So that works quite good and uh, another thing that you can do is in the um, Generator, let's go back here. You'll have to load this every time by the way you would the menu. Is say for example you've generated this and it's missing a feature, like the eyes are completely missing. At the end of the day it, it doesn't actually, it just kind of guesses where the elements of your skin are. It's not a perfect science. What you can do here is click save skin and this will save it into your .minecraft folder in a folder called uh, SFCMM, the same name as a mod, and it will have a folder in your .minecraft with that name and inside it will be a skins folder and there it will be and then you can edit it and then come back and load it as a base skin. So that's kind of the basics of the head generation tool, um, but I will now go into the harder parts like generating from a path. 
once again hop back into head generator and we will switch to path i don't want that in there so we're gonna we're gonna switch over to my other screen okay so in here as you can see i have this skin called a business creeper um to import it into the game what we want to do is we want to hold shift and right click once we've held shift and right click you will get this uh, menu appearing here and it will have all these options what you want to do is go down and click copy as path now the important part is is that this will only appear if you've held shift if you've not been holding shift you won't get that option so you you need that path you can't just copy it it will not work again let's go back into my game and now we paste it into a path and then you might be freaking out going oh why is it not working when you copy a path it likes to um, put these speech marks in the corners what you need to do is you need to just um, delete the delete those uh, speech marks hit load and um, yeah as you can see here we have a skin that's loaded and just like that you have any skin that you want let's generate let, let's have some cat ears say for example on this creeper head and while we're here we'll uh, get a plushie as well okie dokie so we have here we have these heads and just like that you can generate them by the way this does work on servers as well uh, or at least some creative servers uh, just check the rules of whatever you're playing before you use this mod though because uh, this uh, mod handles a lot of NBT data and um, I don't know how comfortable a lot of servers are with you generating stuff into the game. Um, yeah. But this mod is completely client side, uh, the server does not need to have this mod for you able to run it. Okay, so that is the basics of FC uh, MM's head generation tools. That is all for that. Um, in the next part we will be going over head art and what you can do and how to do it. Hello everybody, welcome back for the second part of this video where we talk about creating head art with the FZMM plugin. So for example here we have this really big picture of my OC here. Um, I will show you some other examples very very quickly. So here we have this building of a little that um, someone has created and they have put this little 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 sign on their build. Um, alternatively, um, so we have for example the Barbie poster and across the Spider-Verse poster. So general rule of thumb is that each head is an 8x8 canvas. We're gonna we're gonna show you how to put images on this. For this you'll need some image editing software, um, I personally use Photop, which is a free uh, online Photoshop alternative, but you can also use Photoshop, GIMP, Paint.net, any image editing tool uh, will probably work fine for this, it's not particularly complicated. So yeah, let's, let's jump into that. So, with the knowledge that you are going to be making a head in Minecraft, you have to contemplate how big you want this to be. You have to kind of count your pixels here. So each head is 8x8. Eight eight. I did with my posters is I did 3x4. So 3 across, uh, 4 down. So we're just going to make a canvas of 24 by 32 pixels. 24 across, 32 down, that's because 8, 8, 8, etc. Um, so we're going to generate this. And we're going to hit Control 0 just to maximise it, maybe zoom out a little bit. Um, I'm personally gonna make this a lot easier for myself and put some rulers on. Drag these down and we can make nice uh, cuts of 8 pixels. So every um, every 8 pixels I'm gonna wanna put a... Oh wait, hold on. Maths was just wrong. Apologies if you guys just watched me fall like that. And there'll be another... Ooh. Yeah, if you hold shift, it uh, uh, snaps these a little easier, so... Um, then once you've got your rulers set up, I recommend just like locking those lock guides so they aren't going anywhere. So let's uh, grab a picture right now. Let's get the um, Jaws poster, for example. I do recommend images with less detail, so uh, you, you may have seen in my examples that the less detail it seems to work, but the more detail is 
less likely to work. Also, smaller f image files of this here is 1024 by 1024. Um, which is very big, so this might not work very well, but we will see. We're gonna paste this image in here. Ah, yes, because it's really big. Sorry about that. Um, so what we're going to do here is scale this down, scale it down all the way. Um, and I'm just gonna make it sure it fits uh, the size that I've made. Oh, and up here, that you might see there's some options. There is nearest neighbor by linear by cubic sharper. Um, depending on like how you want your image, um, it kind of has like different kind of like blending modes. So like by linear and by cubic tend to be uh, um, much more blurred, but like still retaining details. Whereas nearest neighbor, uh, nearest neighbor just kind of leaves the pixels as they are rather than trying to blur it. I'm going to personally se select this by cubic sharper, though I can't really tell the difference in bilinear. So let's just drag this out again. We're going to just hit this button here, this confirm button. And we have this here. Turn that off. So this is what we are left with. Um, you can then touch up your image from here. You can go into your brushes. You can uh, draw on it, make the text more legible. We're, we're just going to hop straight into the next part where we are going to make a template for this. So we are going to go to needcoolershoes.com and this is a basic skin editor so what we are going to do is and turn these three layers off by pressing this button here and hide the body, don't need it. Uh, we're gonna select this white, we're gonna fill it, and then I'm gonna make sure to- I'm just gonna hit zero to make sure I'm the right round. What we're just gonna do is we're gonna put a black square on the frontwards facing like headpiece. So this will be our template, and just like that we have made a template. You can make it however you want, you can change the colour for the back of the head because you saw in the ones I showed you white at the back but you can do it any colour you want and it'll be fine. So what we're going to do is we're just going to download this. So I've just downloaded this template and our, uh, we can close this now. Uh, what we're now going to do is we are going to open this skin in another tab, press zero again to um, maximise it. And uh, probably, sorry about the jittering, my mouse isn't very good. So this is literally all we need. So, go back into this image. We are going to select a square at a time. So just like that, we've selected a square. Then you hit Emerged. And then you can hit Paste in here, or Control V, Control V. Um, and then you just drag it over that black square. And you've made a layer. Now repeat this for every single square and export all of these individually. I recommend naming your files like one, two, three, four, five. Um, I'll, sh I'll show you why in a moment. So I'll, I'm just going to make two of these layers for demonstration purposes. I think. Um, let's just take a piece of the shark. So we're going to just take this piece. This can be a really tedious process, but if you are really like interested in doing this, this is what. Um, well, if you watch this far, you're clearly interested, so <laughs> you're probably gonna do this. Um, naming your layers will probably help you here. Um, always make sure that you have selected it and that it is covering that black square. Um, so we're gonna ignore that first one I made. So we're gonna do. Or as PNG. You want it to be PNG so this is transparent because um, that's what the usual Minecraft skin format is. Don't really mess with any other settings, it's fine as it is. So we're going to just call this 1 and I'm going to call this 2. And now that we've done that, um, 
we can hop back into Minecraft. So, you are ready to generate your heads and make them into a art piece. So this is what we're going to do. We are going to hit the head generator and then we are going to do another thing. We're going to open our skins folder like so. We're going to repeat what we did earlier. We're going to start with one. Hold shift. We're going to copy as path. And now that we've done that, we're going to hop straight back into the game. We're going to paste it, get rid of those, and then we're just going to generate this. Well, this one's taking a while. So generate that. And instead of copying all that again, because we named our files easily, we just can change that number at the end. And just like that, and generate the second head. Sometimes it's fine um, to leave it on one, but like I said earlier, sometimes you might want to give it the full amount of time. So you can either do this with command blocks or a plugin that um, supports editing armor stands. On this server I'm going to show you with the armor stand editing plugin, but um, we're going to grab armor stand. Um, but yeah, you can do this with command blocks and it might be easier, I'm not really sure. But what we're going to do is we're just going to place an armor stand here and an armor stand there. Um, I'm going to hide these base plates very quickly. So this is the top of our shark and this is the bottom of our shark. What we're going to do is we're just going to move this very gently down like that and I can't read apparently guys and then we're just gonna hide those and just like that we have made a tiny piece of armor stand art and that is it that is literally all there is to it um yeah so if you want to make really cool armor stand art and stuff this is how you go about that um I hope you enjoyed this, by the way. Um, if there's anything I have missed that's really blatantly obvious, please let me know. Or if you need any like extra help, I will be happy to walk you through it. Um, a side note about this mod, um, I will link it below, but you will also need to be using fabric, um, and you will also need the uh, OWO library for this to run, and the fabric API. Anyways, um, that's all about this mod um, in terms of head generation and head art, so thank you all for sticking around. Bye! -bye.